what set us off in the first place was being parents of children with cerebral palsy. My daughter uh, was about six or seven years old and we were becoming concerned about her schooling and her education and the progress that she was making. Yeah. We heard about this thing called conductive education that was happening in Budapest in Hungary, a place most of us had never really heard of. Um, and we pursued that. The expectations that are put upon a child, I think, within the conductive education environment are, are very different towards the way um, you would perceive a child in a special school. Um, for instance, there are, there are no ceilings in terms of understanding what a child can achieve. They start with small steps, um, help them towards feeding themselves if that's what they need, help them towards reading, help them towards self-help skills, but the child is regarded as a whole being and each aspect of that is addressed within the, the school environment. Within days of being at the Institute, we realised, Mum and Dad, we realised that something was happening to Sarah that wasn't just about walking, that something was going on in her mind, something was going on in who she thought she was. She was reacting differently, she was behaving differently. She seemed to have a bit more lift, a bit more confidence, a bit more engagement, a bit more motivation. Having taken Kirsten to Hungary for quite a few sessions and seen the benefits and seen how motivated she was um, and realised that it was the only system designed for a child um, such as Kirsten with cerebral palsy, um, that there really must be a demand within the UK and definitely within Sheffield and the surrounding areas. And um, we really needed to make sure that other people had the same opportunity. It was just before her third birthday that we first brought her to Pacers. And prior to that, we'd just been sort of muddling, muddling along with trying to get Dylan to do little things at home and, and sit up. She, she was only just sitting unaided, um, but she had to have somebody sat with her. She had no confidence in her own ability. And straight away, in a very um, firm but fair way, they managed to get Dylan sitting without me, sitting behind her, and attempting to do things without the support of an adult, and slowly starting to realise what she could do on her own. I think families come to conductive education because they're very much interested in how to help their child overcome their physical difficulties. Um, and that, of course, is what they will see. It depends on how significant um, their difficulties are. But all of the children learn some new skills. Um, but what they all have in common is that they, uh, they learn to take control of their lives. They're given more choice. They, they, they can now sort of aspire to be whatever they want to be. And that's used to motivate themselves. The difference we've made is to give parents of children with cerebral palsy a choice. A different way of looking at the upbringing of their child an opportunity to choose a schooling for their child and a school for their child which will work with them in the upbringing of their child and that seems to me the most important thing we've done choice i suppose my daughter's a case in point um she first was introduced to conductive education at age eight in hungary um, and has continued with our school and with our adult group and is now uh, moving with friends into a bungalow and she does need, still needs, continues to need a high level of support um, but I'm very confident that she will settle into that, in fact she's telling me she's very confident she'll settle into that um, and you know we lead the rest of her life quite happily in independent living with the support, level of support she needs. We now have a very confident, assertive, strong-minded, independent-willed young woman who knows her own mind, knows what she wants, and insists on getting it. She's just moved into independent accommodation, and one of the other young women she's living with said, Sarah, you've come here to be independent, not to be bossy. And I blame conductive education for that. I like coming to the school because they help me walk. Paces have given Dylan the um, 
insight to realise her own potential physically. Um, th they've made her realise what is possible with hard work. Pacers have shown her a way to achieve things that she didn't think she could achieve before. And as a person, they've given her the confidence and the insight into how to you know, fit into the world as a child with cerebral palsy. I'm a very strong advocate of conductive education through my own experiences and seeing my daughter benefit so much. And my only interest in it is that as many parents as possible will have access when they see that it will be of, um, of benefit to their child. And they have absolutely nothing to lose in trying it in any case. And I think that they will be um, as amazed as I was really that there is, hasn't been such a system of education designed before to suit the needs of children with cerebral palsy. But in, in actual fact, it's not needed because here it is. Conductive education is the right choice and the earlier the better. Thank mm -hmm. you.